All right, so we're back at the 2023 Blade Show. This is never a dull moment channel. I know this won't be a dull moment because you've never seen anything like this before. We're at the Miller Brothers booth. We're at the back of the main room of the Blade Show. This gentleman's going to give us a little tour of what they've got going on right now. When I say right now, it's because there hasn't been in a while, nor will they be again, some of the things you see in front of us. So please tell us what's going on. So this year, in particular, I have some stuff that we haven't had in a long time, and that's the um, katana length swords. Uh, I use the term katana kind of loosely because these are not traditional in any way. These are full tank construction, Z-Wear PM steel. Um, I use titanium fittings for all of the guards, um, copper, carbon fiber. Just, just wow, just wow. Um, some of these are satin finished, some are um, some are our blacked out finish. And these are all live edge right now? Yep, yep, they're all sharp, ready to go. They all have a sheath similar to this, which is our Kydex and leather. Um, I call it the Terminator series. Yeah, we do a lot of work on the leather and the and the Kydex together. So, and then um, we have what your is this your bread and butter down here? Well, some of these are a little more. Oh yeah. I guess, I guess they're a little more like uh, you know stuff people can envision themselves using more maybe. Yes. Um, camp style, uh, choppers, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is our M28, and we should have some of these on the website real soon. And um, what website is that going to be? Millerbrothersblades.com. Nice. That's the only place to get your stuff? Yeah, if you search Millerbrothersblades.com, it'll come right up. Um, we post things as we get them finished on there as best we can. Um, a lot of times we sell out pretty quickly, but we try, oh, and, sure. we try and keep stuff up to date as much as we can. Now, I don't mean to misquote, but was it some of your stuff featured in like a movie maybe like years ago? Um, we have had people contact us about movie stuff. Sometimes it doesn't always work out because Absolutely. a lot of times we're making actual usable physical weapons. Sometimes the movie prop people just want props. Absolutely. They want a low cost prop that they can use for filming and that sort of thing. And a lot of times it's a it's much too late they contact us to actually Absolutely. get something. Because some of these takes it takes me a month at least to make one of these. Absolutely. So it it just it's too late for us to actually produce something of this quality. So what do you think people are doing with these? That there's clearing land with this? It could be. It could be. I mean, they're definitely built like that. They definitely could. Um, whether it's collecting or using, um, I personally, I'm I'm all about using them if you want to. I mean, feel I, I have free. done it. It was a couple of years ago. I took a like a ninja sword. Sure. And uh, there was a, a tree down. Yeah. You know, the women and fun. all that. Make sure yeah. the kids weren't yeah. too close. Yep, yep. And it was a, li a little crazy. No, I don't think I don't think my sword held up like what your this Z hold up. this Z wears should should hold up really well. I mean, it's edge retention and durability is excellent. I could see me going to like an HOA meeting with one of these to negotiate <laughs> maybe, some terms. Maybe. <laughs> I definitely know this was not a dull moment. We appreciate yeah. your time. Good luck yeah. at the plate. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for stopping appreciate by. Appreciate you just giving us the time. No, no problem. Stay with us for more content. 2023 Blade Show. Thanks. Yep.